A couple hundred thousand volts is better than coffee. <laughs> Hi, I'm David Peskovitz from Boing Boing TV, and I'm here with my friend Caden Harris at the Maker Fair. Caden is the eccentric genius who makes uh, antiques from parallel universes. Caden, what have you brought here today? What is this device? This is um, the silicate projectile accelerator. It's a, it's a marble gun. It's powered by a 112th horsepower sewing machine motor, um, and it propels your standard garden variety 5 8 inch glass marbles at 150 feet per second muzzle velocity. It's like actually a fairly intimidating weapon. Here's how it works. It's cool. The, the marbles are in here. They are released through a gate trigger. They're picked up at the center, given 270 degrees of spin by a two-bladed impeller, and they come out of that hole just because they have no choice. It's just an all-around really cool, really trippy, really intimidating weapon. I love it. Amazing. And I, and I was drawn to this one, and I think it's because you explained to me the birthplace of the shape of this, which is near and dear to my own heart. All right. The, the, this began life as a Canavision microscope pro projector. I turned it into a guitar amp, but if you look at the curve of the body casting and think back to the iconic black and white grainy photograph of the Loch Ness Monster supposedly rearing his head up out of the lock, I defy you to convince me that the designer of this casting was not 100% inspired by like, Nessie's geometry. I call this thing the Nessiter amplifier. And this device here? It, it's missing a crucial component, which is the lamp globe to enclose that section here. But when it is fully assembled, it is a power-assisted bong. Let me walk you through the function. We have a ball valve, a flap valve, and the bowl. The backstroke on the piston creates a vacuum in the hypothetical lamp globe, which opens a ball valve, closes a flap valve, and draws from the bowl. The forward stroke on the piston closes a ball valve, opens a flap valve, and delivers the aromatic, exotic tobacco smoke to the delivery mechanism. The piston is lubricated with aromatherapy oils to add like extra sensory appreciation of your exotic oriental tobaccos. <laughs> Amazing. If you'd like to uh, build some of these devices yourself, uh, here's Caden Harris's book, The Eccentric Cubicle. On the cover here, we have a guillotine, a... Uh, a ballista, and a uh, maple mic, which is a, uh, a desktop recreation of the perfect golf swing. Fantastic. The Eccentric Cubicle. More information at eccentriccubicle.com and eccentricgenius.ca. Thank you so much, Caden. I look forward to visiting your uh, parallel universe again soon. My pleasure, Dave. Thanks very much. I am wearing Curiosity Killed the Cat. This would be a limited edition of Boing Boing t-shirt. It makes me impervious to irony. Oh, I do, in fact, love robots. In what manner do you love robots? Whatever I can get away with. My awesome shirt was made by my lovely girlfriend over here, and uh, I thank her daily for it. Say something sarcastic to me. Well, I mean, I can't, like, say sarcasm on command. That's not the way it works. My name is David Weekly. I'm the founder of uh, PB Weekly, and this shirt is Chairman Meow. It's asking you to respect the kitty. TV is run on PB Wiki, so we respect the wiki. <laughs> awesome. Uh, this is a band, a band uh, for a friend of mine who's in jail right now. Sir, what is your name? Scott Beale. And who are you wearing? Who am I wearing? Yes, who are you wearing, darling? I'm wearing Raffle Con. It's working for you, darling. Triples are cool. <laughs> so, live long and prosper. <laughs> I mean, I always really hated having to stab my cartons. I always opened it carefully. We should make sure that, you know, they're not in pain when we open them. I am Jack Sparks, and I shock people. Yeah. Oh my god! A couple hundred thousand volts is better than coffee. There's literally a force field of electricity coming out from his body. It's amazing. Wow, now how did that... Jesus! 
Oh my god, I wasn't prepared for that. No! <laughs> but that's too much. It depends on what you enjoy in life. I have three stints in my heart, and so if I didn't think it was safe, I wouldn't be here. I make big sparks with the Kessler coils and this big Van de Graaff generator. Why do you do this? Oh, for the sheer fun of it, watching people's eyes go wide, hoping to turn kids onto the fact that science doesn't have to be dull and boring textbooks, and you can see and feel electricity. That's a lot of fun. I don't have anything left. I got nothing. <laughs>